Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're talking all about carrier oils used for essential oils. There are so many things about carrier oils that are underrated, not talked about like ever. It's just kind of like use this to dilute your essential oil. But when you are diluting and using a specific carrier oil, you're also adding to the benefits. There are therapeutic benefits to the carrier oils as well. And I feel like I've just skimmed the surface on my research on carriers. I wish I could take like a whole class on it because there is so much to learn and know, but I have the basics. Um, so this is a carrier oil 101. Um, before we get started, I do have my courses now available in my stand store. It is linked down below. I basically think in all inclusive, everything you need to know about a specific essential oil category, dogs, allergies, uh, or aromatic families. Um, and I'm adding to that all the time. So make sure you go and check that out. I think I um, left out hormones. Uh, also, if you have a request of something that you want me to add to my store, make sure you let me know in the comments too. You can also DM me on Instagram, um, but I also have some freebies in my store as well. So just go check it out and let me know what you think. Um, okay, basic guide to carrier oils for essential oils. So the first one, um, the first carrier oil that I ever used was fractionated coconut oil. I feel like this is the oil that everyone just says to grab a big thing of when you're starting with essential oils so that you can dilute your oils. Um, fractionated coconut oil has a few benefits, um, but there are so many more that have so many great benefits. So first we're going to go over how carrier oils are made and it's very similar to how essential oils are made. There's several different methods. So just like with essential oils, we cold press or steam distill or CO2 extract and that's pretty much the same uh, as with carrier oils. There's cold pressing, solvent extraction, and then supercritical fluid CO2 extraction. Um, so there are a few different methods of getting the oil. Some essential oils and it will say on the bottle refined or something like that and that just means that it's been like bleached or treated to kind of purify the oil which is has pros and cons to itself so make sure you look into that and see what you want and just, so what is in carrier oils uh, this is kind of like the nerdy sciencey part but there's saturated fatty acids monounsaturated fatty acids polyunsaturated fatty fatty acids, um, and then fat soluble vitamins and nutrients, so many different things. And in this blog post, which I always link down in the description, all these will be listed in very specific things to go with each one because the saturated fatty acids, for example, include lauric acid, myristic acid, palmitic acid, and stearic acid, and there's a bunch of different ones for each. So if you want to learn more about each one, that is in the blog post. And then what do carrier oils do? So the term carrier and carrier oil uh, just indicates its usefulness to be like a vehicle for your essential oils to help it spread uh, over a larger surface um, and also help penetrate your skin um, as well. So enhance absorption of essential oils, penetrate the skin more effectively. Um, so preventing like a negative skin reaction and also helping it penetrate and work better. Um, so there are times like specific reasons or circumstances may call for like an oil to be used neat which is just und uh, undiluted on your skin uh, but in the majority of the the ways that we use oils they are diluted in a carrier oil um, and then lastly therapeutic benefits uh, there are lots of different benefits uh, for carrier oil so skin barrier protection so they create a barrier on the skin to kind of help prevent moisture loss. So think skincare and moisturizing your skin, oil should be like the last step to kind of lock in and create that barrier on your skin. They also restore barrier function if the barrier is damaged. Um, antioxidant properties, anti-inflammatory properties, um, there are lots of different benefits um, in kind of the same ways that essential oils are beneficial to our skin as well. In this blog post as well, I have a list of a few different or, um, carrier oils. Jojoba, sweet almond, coconut, rosehip, and argon are argan. And I just wanted to point out that like anywhere that we get our essential oils, the brand typically also has a line of carrier oil. So this is Revives. I can kind of show you a close up, but just look on their website. Most of them will have a line of um, just a couple of various ones. I know Mountain Rose Herbs has a ton of carrier oils. Revive has the basics. Simply Earth has the basics. I think I already showed this one. They have almond oil and fractionated coconut oil. If you subscribe to their monthly subscription box, you get these every six months. So kind of just just keeps you stocked up on carriers. Um, for our uh, fractionated coconut oil is the liquid form, but it also they also give you a solid coconut oil as well. 
And this one is plant therapy. They also have a large range of just different carrier oils um, that you can go on and purchase when you get your essential oils to them too. This one is sweet almond. Um, so I have just a few little tidbits of each one. I have, I'm putting together another guide for my store with an extensive, like, every carrier oil known to man and the benefits and why it's good for your skin, what it has in it, all of those fatty acid components, like what those do for your skin, a very like in-depth guide. And that should be up in my store in a couple of weeks, but I'm, I'm working on that. So just know if you didn't see a carrier in this blog post that you're interested in, it will be in the guide that I'm completing soon. So jojoba oil um, mimics the skin's natural oils, making it an excellent moisturizer, helps oil production, and it's non-comedogenic, which means it does not clog your pores. Coconut oil does clog your, can clog your pores. I know the coconut oil like craze um, like five, 10 years ago when it started just becoming super popular everyone was using on their skin um, and it can clog your pores and cause breakouts. So I use it very rarely in rollers that I'm gonna be using on my face and I don't use it in serums. I use jojoba or um, rose hip on my face. Sweet almond oil is rich in uh, vitamins and fatty acids. Hydrates soothes the skin. Um, it's really good for aging skin. It's a good emollient um, and it's good for aging skin. Uh, along with argan oil, that is really good for aging skin as well. Helps reduce the signs of aging, has lots of antioxidants. Rosehip oil, lots of fatty acids, antioxidants, vitamins. Um, this is a really, really good one for um, skincare. This is probably my number one that I use in like my rollers and different things I put on my face. Um, but it's high amounts of vitamin E, A, essential fatty acids, it's promoting collagen and cell regeneration. So, okay, quickly to finish, I just have a list of some other carrier oils that might not be your typical ones that we talked about, and then things that are not carrier oils that sometimes get confused um, when diluting essential oils. So, other carrier oils are herbal oils, so um, oils like an olive oil that's infused with an herb, um, like rosemary, lavender, things like that. Fruit, nut, or seed oils are carrier oils. Butters, gels, and water based emulsifiers are all carrier oils. Things that are not carrier oils, things that do not dilute essential oils, witch hazel, alcohol, water, vinegar, baking soda, Epsom salt, honey, sugar, wax, and clay. I do think a lot of people believe witch hazel dilutes your essential oil when you're mixing it with like a room spray or something like that. And it does not. You really have to shake well. And then when you're making like a room spray and only adding witch hazel to dilute the essential oil, you want to make sure it's not coming in direct contact with your skin. If it's an essential oil like cinnamon or something that's going to irritate your skin. All the brands that we like to use will be linked in this blog post and everything else that I talked about. Let me know if you have any questions. Again, the guide with the, all of the carriers and like different tips and facts and kind of the nerdy stuff stuff about them will be up in my store soon. Let me know if you have any other requests for my stand store. Thank you guys so much for watching this video to the end. I hope you have a great day. Bye.